The Chieftain tank represents a significant milestone in British tank design and development, characterized by its powerful gun, advanced armor, and innovative engineering. Its story is rooted in the evolving needs of post, World War II armored warfare, and the quest for a modern main battle tank, post-war context and design philosophy. Following World War II, the British Army recognized the need for a new generation of tanks capable of confronting the potential armored threats posed by the Soviet Union. This period marked a transition from the traditional heavy tanks of the war era to more versatile main battle tanks. The Centurion tank, which entered service in the late 1940s, was the immediate predecessor to the Chieftain and offered valuable insights for its design. The concept of the Chieftain tank emerged from a series of studies and experiments conducted during the 1950s to develop a tank that combined firepower, protection, and mobility in a single platform. The emphasis was on creating a tank that could dominate the battlefield through superior firepower and armor, while remaining agile and adaptable to various combat scenarios. Development and features. The Chieftain's development began in the mid-1950s, led by the British Ministry of Supply and later the newly formed Ministry of Defense. The tank was designed by the Royal Ordnance Factories and incorporated cutting-edge technology and engineering for its time. One of the key design elements was the adoption of the L11 120mm rifled gun, a potent weapon capable of engaging enemy armor at extended ranges. Armor protection was another critical aspect of the Chieftain's design. It featured a highly sloped glacis plate and turret front, along with composite armor offering enhanced protection against both kinetic energy penetrators and shaped charges. The tank's mobility was ensured by a powerful Leyland L60 multi-fuel engine, delivering sufficient horsepower to propel the Chieftain across varied terrain. The Chieftain also introduced several advanced features, including a hydraulic suspension system that allowed for smooth travel over rough terrain and improved stability while firing on the move. The tank was equipped with a range of modern optics and fire control systems, enhancing its accuracy and target acquisition capabilities. Service and evolution. The Chieftain entered service with the British Army in the early 1960s and quickly established itself as one of the most formidable tanks of its era. Its combat debut came during the Cold War period, where it formed a key component of NATO's armored forces. Over time, the Chieftain underwent several upgrades and modifications to address evolving battlefield requirements and technological advancements. One notable variant was the Chieftain MK5, which introduced upgrades to its engine, fire control systems, and additional armor improvements. The Chieftain remained in frontline service with the British Army until the late 1980s, gradually replaced by the Challenger series of main battle tanks. Here are the specifications of the Chieftain MK5, one of its most notable variants. Main armament, L11A, 5 120mm rifled gun. Ammunition, APDS, armor-piercing discarding sabot. Hiesch, high explosive squash head, smoke. Secondary armament, 7.62mm LL, 8A, one coaxial machine gun. 7.62mm L37, A1 anti-aircraft machine gun on commander's cupola. Engine, Leyland L66 cylinder multi-fuel engine. Power output, approximately 750 horsepower. Transmission, Merritt Brown, TN. 12 transmission with five forward and two reverse gears. Suspension, Horstman suspension system with hydraulic dampers. Performance, maximum speed, approximately 48 kilometers per H, 30 miles per hour on road. Operational range, approximately 500 kilometers, 310 miles. Gradient, 
60%. Vertical obstacle, 0.91 meters, 36 inches. Trench crossing, 2.74 meters, 108 inches. Fording depth, 1.07 meters, 42 inches. Armor, composite armor with varying thicknesses. Frontal turret armor, approximately 195 mm. Frontal hull armor, approximately 150 mm crew. Four, commander, gunner, loader, driver. Dimensions, length, gun forward, approximately 10.8 meters, 35.4 feet. Width, approximately 3.5 meters, 11.5 feet. Height, approximately 2.9 meters, 9.5 feet. Electronics and equipment, Marconi IFVGCE MK. 10 fire control system, laser rangefinder, NBC, nuclear, biological, chemical protection system, thermal sleeve for main gun. The Chieftain tank underwent several upgrades and modifications throughout its service life, leading to variants such as the Chieftain MK3, MK5, and later the still-brew armor-equipped Chieftain MK10. It played a crucial role in the British Army and NATO forces during the Cold War era, showcasing a balance of firepower, protection, and mobility that influenced subsequent tank designs. Legacy and Impact The Chieftain tank left a lasting legacy in the realm of armored warfare. Its design influenced subsequent British tank development, particularly evident in the Challenger series that followed. The tank's emphasis on a powerful gun, robust armor, and technological sophistication set benchmarks for future main battle tank designs globally. Moreover, the Chieftain played a significant role in shaping NATO's armored doctrine during the Cold War, serving as a credible deterrent against potential adversaries. Its combat performance and endurance underscored the importance of technological innovation in modern warfare and highlighted the pivotal role of main battle tanks in ground operations. In conclusion, the Chieftain tank represents a pivotal chapter in the history of British armored warfare. Its development and service reflect a period of rapid technological advancement and strategic adaptation, ultimately contributing to the evolution of main battle tanks and their pivotal role on the modern battlefield.